Pavlov was one of the early scientists that really began to break ground on the concept of classical conditioning. So his experiments, he took a dog and uh, strapped the dog to a table and he was really interested in measuring uh, salivary enzymes. That's where his uh, uh, studies were. But what he did was he offered the dog a meal and then rang a bell. He had a stimulus and then he produced a response. But along with feeding the dog a meal, he had a conditioned stimulus that went along with it, the ringing of a bell. So every time he fed the dog a meal, he rang a bell. And after a period of exposures, he was able to take the meal away and ring a bell, and the dog would begin to associate the past experience with the present moment. In other words, most conditionings are based on the past. So then, if you take someone who's been dependent on a medication for a period of time for pain, and that pill looks like a certain color and it has a certain shape, and that pill has been able to reduce a person's pain levels for a period of time, it's highly possible then that you could substitute that pill with a pill that looks just like the pill they've been taking. And by association, the moment they see that pill, their body begins to biologically and chemically change in preparation for that event. In other words, when Pavlov rang the bell and the dog heard that sound, it created the image from the past experience of what was about to take place in the present moment. And the dog's body autonomically, automatically, physiologically, chemically, subconsciously began to change in preparation for the event. In other words, the dog's body was beginning to believe it was in the experience ahead of the actual experience. So many placebo studies, primarily around pain and depression and asthma, you can actually give someone uh, some type of substance that, that they think is the real substance because it looks like it, and their body begins to produce the same chemicals by conditioning, just like Pavlov's dog. Join the World Summit of Integrative Medicine 2015 today at WSIM2015.com Sponsored by Quantum University